Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So everybody loved that wild and crazy abstract floral I did a couple weeks ago, a week ago. So that I decided to do another one with this big large block. Um, seeing where I can go with it. I was intentionally going to paint some flowers. It's not abstract obviously, but it's loose and fun and just playing around with the color and where it goes and what you have. So what you're doing is painting the color on the paper and then seeing where it goes and kind of morphing it into something. So I go over this step by step. There's no traceable, there's no photograph. There's just me playing with color and paint and see what happens. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, check out my Patreon. I have ad free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays that are longer, more in depth, I have traceables and reference photos, etc. etc. I also have a Facebook page for Patreon members. They can share their paintings, chit chat with each other. And Patreon members get first dibs and watercolor workshops and retreats. It's just a place people go and support my channel, which I super appreciate. And you can check out the link for that in the description box. So with all that being said, <laughs> let's just have fun with watercolor, paint, brushes, all that stuff, everything in the kitchen sink. This is really a great tutorial on lifting paint. As you can see, this is going to be lifting. And so when you're painting something and you don't know how to lift it, I'm going to show you where I would lift it and why I would lift it there and all that good stuff. So let's get started. All right, so let's talk about supplies. Uh, this is that big, huge block. This is 12 by 18 by Fabriano, cold press. Love playing with this. Everyone was really loving that last abstract floral. So we're doing another one, but this time we're gonna do more yellows, yellows and oranges. I was planning on doing some kind of sunflower abstract. So let's see where the wind blows today. Be playing with everything in the kitchen sink. I will put all the brushes and whatever I'm using in the description box. I'll be playing with big old brushes like this Princeton. I'm not sorry, it's not Princeton. This is just like a two inch flat wash brush. I'll have my other three fourths flash brush. I'll have my 12 Neptune round. You know what makes great uh, sunflower petals is anything that says like a sharp oval like this. This is a Overwash by Princeton. It's really a cat's tongue brush. This is the Aqua Elite one. I have the Neptune series one. They're just boom, simple petals with that. And I'll be playing with some Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolors, uh, the Cadmium Yellow Deep. We've got some great colors here. We've got this lovely uh, Hansa Deep Yellow. We have a lovely Vermilion Hue. Uh, I've got my lovely Holbein paints here, cadmium red light, cadmium yellow deep, all the good stuff. Let's just see where the wind blows. Let's have a little fun. And that's what the name of the game is, right? You just never know. So I am going to take this big old brush. I'm going to get some water on here. I'm going to grab some yellow paint, get that loose with a little cadmium red deep. Get it all loose. Woohoo! Ellen's going for it today. <laughs> so we've got that yellow in there. I'm going to clean it up, grab some more water, right? I'm going to grab some blues in here. Um, Ultramarine blue is one of my faves. So let's get that in there. A little blue happening. Obviously when it hits the yellow, it can add some green to it. <clears throat> yep. Big old brush. Grab that yellow. Have fun with this. Splattering, mushing, moving that paint around. Oh yeah. Now we've got this lovely color, this vermilion hydrus. Let's see what this one goes. I'm gonna water this one down. Ooh. Look at that. That's pretty intense. Just moving around. Don't know where this plan is going. And that is the fun of it all. Also have this lovely color. This is the Hansa Deep Yellow. Kind of a funky name. Grab a little of that in the corner of my brush. Woo. Hear my bang and clang. Um, I'll take some Prussian blue, mix in my yellow. We'll get a nice green. Kind of mush that around. Let's see where that goes. 
and then the ultramarine blue will change that green too. Just kind of put some little energy going this way, upward. Still using this big old brush. Mm -hmm. Making some bright greens now. You can start to like see the strokes kind of happening going upward. I might even grab, what is this color? It's turquoise blue, Idris cobalt. I have a bunch of these. I haven't been using them, so I'm looking at them over here on the left all the time. And I'm going, I gotta use these guys. So let's try the turquoise. They're fun. So obviously we mix that turquoise in with that yellow and blue and green is going to be intense. Woo! What will happen with that? <laughs> One can only guess. Now that's a lot, so I'm going to remove some of it. I'm going to grab some yellow paint, mix it in, and now I've got an intense green. Wow. Just, wow, having fun. Just going up and over, some strokes, playing with this lovely paper here with this big old brush. I'm going to kind of remove some paint now. It's funny, you can never duplicate what you did before, but it's always fun to play around. So I'm going back up here with some bright yellow, intensity, add that cadmium red light. Ooh. So what this does is like, I know it's kind of intuitive. People think like, why, why would I paint? and then remove paint because it does seep into the paper and therefore you have some like pigment to it so now it's getting a little muddy don't really want that i'm going to remove some of the color you can move with the brush you could take a paper towel scrunch it and move it that way you get like a nice texture and you still leave some pigment behind look at that Move that green, twisting, twisting. I still want to leave a lot of this yellow here. I like this. You can kind of mush it like this. See, you move that paint that's still wet over your paper and then you've covered your paper. You can move some of this down here, play up here. All the good stuff. So the pigment of that red is just seeping in there. Tippy taps. <laughs> I know, right? I love it. Love playing with big paper. You gotta try big paper every now and then. I'm gonna go back in with some yellow. Those reds that I had before in my hydrus playing with this big brush. Now you can see I'm kind of forming some kind of sunflower stroke petals here. Lively big ones, right? I could grab that big old brush that I have here and talk about that. This is the Royal and Lang Nickel Jumbo. Let's see. Grab some of that hydrous watercolor. Ooh. I'm going to remove some of this blue here. So it doesn't make it look green. I'm gonna go back in with this brush. Twist and turn and make some petals. So you see, I'm kind of forming some petals here. Some big ones. They're not pointy, like sunflowers are really kind of pointy, but you get the kind of feel of it, right? Kind of wild. It's a big one. I didn't intend originally to have a big one, but why not? <laughs> so then I'm going to do another one here. Let's see where this this whole design goes. I do want another one kind of down here somewhere. You always want to have like three, three or something. So one kind of blowing out this way. Could add a little burnt umber in here. Get my some brownish sunflower. Just playing with moving the brush so it has the petals kind of forming this way, like outward. So we'll kind of do the petals and then we'll kind of take away some color. I know, I know, you're like, what the heck is she talking about? So clean up this brush, have a paper towel close by, get a little wet, 
you see kind of removing some color so you can kind of see the petals forming with the removed color happening around it in between some of these right you can use watercolor so thick kind of out of the tube look at that moving the paint around a little bit this would be my center I'm removing that area you want to be kind of gentle though because this paper you don't want it to kind of really lift the paper actually and then here I figure this is where my center would be I can start to play with that adding some of my front umber and paints gray mixture let's see we'll have it bleed a little bit into the other color this would be the starting point of that we're still playing here starting point of this one I do want a leaf to go across it so we'll have to remove some color and then this guy we're going to make him big so I'm going to stop using this brush and probably start playing around with my flat wash brush and here it is this is a smaller one and maybe it is a bigger one but so if I remove some of the color here for the petal because now you see a, a pointier pointier shape for a sunflower which makes more sense right and I'm not worried about the color behind here because I can add some green for where the sunflower kind of showing so I've got some yellow and some ultramarine blue make this kind of like sagey kind of green Add a little Prussian and get a little bit deeper just kind of putting that green in there just seeing where it's gonna land me this would be the stem kind of happening or it could just be leaves period kind of going in between some of these lovely petals so this one's kind of a you can't really tell where it is where the where the petals start where they go so I'm gonna clean up my brush and kind of remove some paint indicate where the petals are right I'm removing the paint or you can paint the negative space right so I can take the green such as painting some green leaves around where the flowers wouldn't be now you can see the petals in there right kind of in between those lovely little leaves and a little darker blue with depression and it really stands out see how you can play with that even in here right get that Prussian blue kind of put it in there a deep blue so you want to start to play with negative space think about the flowers. If, it, if it's difficult for you draw in the petals and then go around those and that's kind of how you play with that but remember this is not a perfect sunflower I'm removing some paint here again you see so I can put a petal in here I always like to cover the center make it look more natural this is a lifting technique and watercolor you're lifting the paint see and I like to use in the flat wash brush because we'll have a nice point if I'm starting to go like this on the chisel in now it looks like it's really moving right I put a few lifting here and we can go back in and add some nice pretty yellows to that it's a nice technique it's a lot of fun You're really learning to play with some techniques here with I can't say this is abstract because it's not you know what it is 
but it's a loose style semi abstract right semi you know what it is but look at that I just did that little swipe I'll do it again over here it's fantastic to try this it really takes you to a whole other place lifting you really can see look at that right before your eyes right I'm just kind of twisting I'm twisting the brush but lifting it tapping the color on the paper towel removing that color I stuck down there and I liked this one going this way look at that energy it's so cool <laughs> I get excited sometimes yes you should you should get excited when you do something that's fun and cool celebrate it don't get frustrated celebrate all the mishaps and the funness so here we got some goofiness going on I don't know the leaves maybe just gonna wiggle that one out too all right this could be the front leaves and we could do the back leaves we can start adding in some greens and some dark and depth in here it doesn't have to be super dark but adding in some depth or some different colors some greens go around that negative space and grab bright yellow see it's right out of the tube do some dry brushing play around with that filling in that space so now that sunflower or you can add a little blue in there um, grab some cobalt or ultramarine blue I'm going to move some of this color over here get my colors are kind of muddy and dirty because I'm playing so much really intensely stick in a nice blue give it that impressionistic look right if you don't like that if you want to be able to see the stems more again you're lifting so you see the stem highlight right it could be really dark with the blue right next to it once this dries you can get a little bit deeper Prussian blue thick right out of the tube now you can kind of see the stem but look at all this fun stuff happening here I didn't know where this was going and I'm really liking it so I'm going to add the blue kind of going around some of these petals now right a little softer out this way I kind of loving this little light edge out this way a little deeper down in here play around adding some blue here in between the lovely little petals if you don't want blue just leave it white I might want to make it a little lighter and brighter we'll see I'm playing around with it but I'm loving this I don't know I really like it I have a feeling if I messed it up over here what I'm gonna do here I think I'm gonna remove some more paint I kind of like this white kind of thing happening up here. You can kind of do like a bokeh where you're removing the paint in a circular motion, circular motion, I mean, some circles, but we'll see how that looks. I'm going to go back in here and add some color to this section. Play, play, play with all your stuff, right? You just never know what will come out. I'm going to grab cobalt. Such a pretty blue. Like almost right out of the tube. Look at that. Dry brush. Cobalt. Nice. You can really define the petals here. Like you see, with that negative space, there's the ultramarine blue. really kind of defying this negative space looking this way I'm going to fill this in this is kind of like a little splattered a little bit so I'm going to go and define it really get that crisp edge what's going on 
And if you want to make it more green, just add some green color, to, some yellow to make it green. You don't really know exactly what that is, but you feel like it's the, the under, under foliage. See, just going in and adding that. But I'm, I don't know, I'm really liking this. <laughs> so here I'm gonna go back in here and get this really defined line. So you see the stem, with the, that's the Prussian blue, right up against that area. Kind of funny and fun in here, huh? I'm gonna just twist my brush a little bit. Now, if you didn't want a hard edge, you can soften it more up here. I might play around with adding some blue going down in between where the petals would be to define it more again, right? You're just defining all this by adding in the color in the background. You just, if you have to draw out where you want your petals, do that that helps you and then you can go around them if that helps you more all right negative space play around with negative space it's always good to play with things like that see right here I just made like a little dark section and now you can really see that leaf I'm sorry the uh, petal I always do that. I always say leaf and petal backwards. Like one's a petal, one's a leaf. I do that a lot. Oh, you can also define it with the, the colors too, the uh, sunflower. So I'll take some cadmium red light, got some yellow. And so what I'm saying is that you can go in here and start to do some of this color for your petals. And you're defining the front petals from the back ones. Those ones you can see clearly now in the front. All this good stuff. See? Oh, I got a little green on that one. Don't want the paintbrush to be too dirty. Got some yellow, some lovely orangey yellow color. Even yellow right from the tube. Playing adding in that depth from the petals behind. Now that means you're still kind of seeing the front just a little too much, like too defined. I really want to kind of just have them kind of loose. So I'm gonna play with this a little again by getting it wet. I don't want it so defined, but you get what I'm saying. The energy is there. Now remember, I could go back over that one that we've kind of lifted, add a little color. But I love it white, so I'm not going to put too much color on it. Dry brushing out here, just giving that sunflower all that wonderful energy. If you figure out and put a petal there, can lift the color and put the other color in. I really love this one. Grabbing some paints gray, getting deeper, darker in here. Getting my paintbrush wet. Really defining those petals. Right, it just pops now. If you want it to bleed a little bit, you can make this wet underneath, but. You can take your brush and do like little wisps on the on the um, chisel end to go out so it doesn't look so meh, fake in a way. Little fuzzies. That looks much better. This one already had kind of fuzzies when it was being creative, but I'm going to go back in and just do a little more. 
So we sent this solid, circular, a little more organic looking. And this one's just still kind of peaking. Adding in those darker values of the browns by putting in some Payne's gray there. And it really just kind of pops now. Right? You really see it defined. It's so much fun. I just want to loosen this, make it a little softer by adding some water. And you want to see that center, but I don't want it so defined. I'll add a little fuzzies on the ends. And here, I feel like it's too tight, right? So I'm going to go back in here, see if I can try and lift this color. You might not be able to. Let's put that Dr. P.H. Martin's in there, which is kind of like a dye, so it's very hard to remove sometimes. But I cut some of it. And when that dries, I can go back in and add like the yellow, orange. This is the fun part. Like I might want to remove something here and add a leaf. And if I just do a little bit, it's like almost like it's faded in the background, right? Or this light kind of happening coming through here. It's all this magic that happens. When you play with your paints. <laughs> Seriously. See, the bokeh would be a circular shape. And then you would remove it. And then you'd have that round bokeh. Like it was unfocused in a camera. It looks a little fake, so I'm going to kind of maneuver it this way. And play around with that. Yeah. Kind of looking fake to me. Remove some of the color here. And then you get a little more removing. You really have to be careful with this. You're not ripping your paper apart. Get this a lot later. stems if you wanted to add some yellow but I think I really like this energy right here I just I don't even know how I came about it it just happens and up here it's a little messy I'm gonna kind of mush it around a little bit kind of blend it grab some pink red yellow orange just kind of blend all this goofiness up here so it makes sense but look, this took minimal time, a lot of fun. Some really good energy happening here. Ooh. Just kind of twisting and coloring and making petals. I love this energy kind of happening here. This one's my favorite. Maybe not yours, but mine. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna put a dark leaf in here. So minimal water on this, moving it around. Um, Prussian blue, yellow, and the burnt umber. Get a real defined leaf happening there. Some stems, kind of play with some stems happening. All that good stuff. So you can just do some stems kind of like with the greenery. And maybe you would pull one out up top, but I think I just like it the way it is. I like the energy of it. I don't know if I want to fuss with the stem. I can try and put a little stem out here. Let's see what happens. In a leaf. Do I like it? I'm going to try and go real quick and see if I don't like it, I'm going to remove it. Just like a muted green leaf. Under some of these little petals. What do we think? Do we like it? I don't know. 
I feel like it needs something over here then. I don't know. It looks like two rockets shooting out of there. So you know what? No. <laughs> I know. It was fine the way it was. Why did she touch it? Because sometimes you just go for it. I do like the green though. And I'm going to kind of remove this. Like it never happened. Put some green over here. I think it softens it a little bit. And I'm going to go remove it around some of the petals. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> but this is the name of the game, people. It's supposed to be fun. You have to try and experiment. You just never know until you try. So I... All right, I think I'm just not gonna go crazy over that. I think this little defined petal here, the, see, I did the same thing, petal, leaf, petal. <laughs> I don't like it so much, it's so stiff. I'm gonna go and try and soften it. It just looks so stiff, I don't know. It's bugging me for some reason. You can put little lines, you can add some depth in there. But I'm trying not to make it too, too goofy, right? Gonna remove some of this again. Out here, we want those defined petals that we were missing. And put some of that color down this way. You want to balance all the color. And then I think we're done. And I think we're done here and not fuss with it much more. If you fuss with it too much, you won't, you won't like it. It might not be what your intention would be. Just adding a little bit more color here. Remember this petal that I kind of wiped away? Can add it in a dry brush butter mixture of the yellow. Maybe add a little bit of this red. Get some like nice intensity. So that's that. I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm touching it too much and I don't want to do that. Having too much fun. So play around with your watercolor. Play around with some big, big old kind of petals, like I did here, and see what happens. You know, you might love it, you might hate it, but you won't know it until you try it. I think I like it. I don't know. The jury isn't out yet. <laughs> Gonna add some yellow on here. I'm not sure if I like the white, but it's fun to play. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you have a fantastic day. Please play with your watercolors. Please enjoy it. Try different things. You never know what's gonna come out of it. It could be the most magical thing you've ever painted. Get out of your head that it stinks. It's just paint and water. It's not rocket science. Okay, guys, take care and I'll speak to you soon.